Test, test, one, two, three. What's going on team? It's Ricky with TechBud Solutions. And today we're going to be talking about the top 10 stocks for March. It's actually during our Sunday Stock Talk, which is today. Uh, if you guys have never tuned on into our Sunday Stock Talk, uh, not only do I upload these every single Sunday and go live, but I upload new videos every single day. So if you're an absolute beginner, and you're trying to become a little bit more familiar with what the stock market has to offer, please destroy that like button and of course consider subscribing. One of the first things that I want to let you guys to uh, let you guys know is especially if you're an absolute beginner, you guys can click the first link in the description and that will actually send you on over so you can join our free Discord trading group chat. So if you're looking for a free way on how to connect with other like-minded individuals, then again, the first link in the description of this video will send you on over there. And anytime that you have any questions, you can feel free to uh, speak among other people. So uh, today I am going to be doing a giveaway. I know that that is probably the main reason uh, why most of you are going to be in today's live uh, live stream. Um, this wasn't a giveaway that I, um, just so you guys know a little bit more about it, um, it was, a, it was about the Moomoo trading platform, right? Uh, they reached out to me uh, to promote their trading platform. There's already an incentive. If you use my link, you get a sign up bonus. I wanted to do things a little bit different. Obviously, um, I would not have the opportunity to get paid to promote them if it weren't for all of you guys. So what I decided was I wanted to kind of like spice things up uh, and I wanted to give away $1,000. Uh, instead of just giving $1,000 away to one person, I thought I would split it uh, split it evenly. And I asked you guys on YouTube and it seemed like a lot of you guys did think it was a good idea. So I'm giving away in this video uh, 10, what, oh, there's 10 winners that are uh, we're gonna have today. Uh, and each winner is going to be at one, th uh, not $1,000, it's gonna be at $100, so $1,000 total. Um, and it was su super simple. So uh, Moomoo is a free trading platform. Um, if you signed up using my link, uh, I have the number of people that signed up right now on my phone, just so you guys can see right on over here. Uh, and that's exactly what I'm gonna be reading off of. And I'm gonna select 10 of you right now, uh, each winning $1,000. Let me, let me tell you this. What I need you to do is if you win, if I select you as one of the winners, right? I need you to message me via Discord. So the first link in the description is our free Discord. Message me via Discord and send me a recording that that is your account. I don't want a screenshot because you can Photoshop those screenshots. I want to make sure that um, that I, I give the hundred dollars away uh, to to the to the right person. So is this live? So Sam one two is asking. Um, if I'm live, yeah. So what if I already have a Webull account? Am I out of the giveaway? So it's not for Webull uh, this time. This one is for uh, Moomoo. But I'd be willing to, to do a, a Webull uh, giveaway. That's kind of what I was thinking. Um, I wanted to spice things up. Um, I don't know if I can do, give away $1,000 every single week. I guess it just depends on how many of you guys smash that like button. So uh, let me go ahead and check this out. So let's go ahead and actually just jump right into it. Um, I'm going to start announcing uh, the winners and then we'll get into today's video. So um, let me go ahead and refresh this just so I can give everyone a good little, just in case you just signed up. Okay. So each winner is going, if I select you, uh, you're going to win $100. You are, uh, you need to click the first link in the description. Uh, message me on Discord, show me proof that you are the winner that I selected, uh, and I will send you $100 um, through Venmo or through Zelle, whatever is easier for you. So uh, I appreciate you guys' time. If you guys want me to make more of these giveaways, please just like that, uh, uh, click the like button, and of course, consider subscribing. So the first person to win, uh, I, have, I have your little username, and then I have like the last, I'm just gonna say the last two of your account number uh, for your trading account. So the first winner of um, this giveaway that wins $100 is going to be, uh, what is this? Dolph, Dolphan, I don't know, D-O-L-F-A. So Dolphan W-D. Uh, and then your account ends in three zero. All right, so the second winner for that wins $100, his name is Caseman. Um, and then the last two of your account number are seven two. The next one is going to be Ari Stocks. And then the last, uh, and if you win and you're watching this live, um, 
just comment in the live chat and I'd like to you know, uh, see if you're actually even watching today's video. Uh, so the next one is going to be uh, RE stock and it ends in 3 3. So A R I S T O C K S and then it ends in 3 3. So, uh, all right, those are three winners. The next one is J Booger and then the last, uh, the last two of the account number end in 8 5. The next one is going to be stay green and the last uh, two numbers of your account number end in 06. So, oh, Ari Vitell, I like that. We got Angel, I like that, nice, okay. All right, let's go ahead and keep moving on. So we have one, two, three, four, five that we've given away. Let's keep on going. All right, so the next one is going to be quick-witted hippos. So quick-witted hippos, and then the last two of your account number is 83. Uh, the next one is Soto Collector, 22, and the last two of your account number is 32. The next one is Dependent Pawn, and then the last two of your account number is 83. So... Yep. All right. Let's go ahead and do a couple more. How many am I at? I'm not too sure. I think I've given away $800 so far. So the next one is going to be uh, Gemini72. I don't know if it's Gem the. It might be the Gemini72 or <laughs> Gemini. I don't know. Uh, and then the last two of your account number is 24. These are very creative usernames. Uh, the next one is going to be Larry Trade 3 and then the last two of your account number is eight, two. So, all right, we've done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I think that's 10. Right? Is that is that not 10? I'm pretty sure that's 10. Okay, do we have any of the giveaway winners here? Tesla giveaway, uh, no, I, I, I'm not, I guess at that level, I can't be giving away Teslas. Um, but yeah, those are the uh, 10 winners. If you guys uh, were one of the 10 people that I talked about today, uh, just message me um, on Discord and uh, we'll go from there. I'll send you the $100. I appreciate you guys participating in it. Um, and yeah, if you guys want me to continue to do these giveaways, all you literally have to do is um, continue to subscribe to the channel. And if I continue to get these incentives, I wanna make sure that you guys win as well. So I think it was 10, yeah, I think it was 10 as well. So uh, let's go ahead and jump right into it. I appreciate you guys' patience, sorry about that. Uh, let's go ahead and start breaking these down. I wanted to go through the list uh, and talk a little bit more about where the market is at as of right now. Uh, one of the first things that I quickly wanted to, how do I get out of this? One of the first things that I quickly wanted to showcase right now is the NASDAQ market. The NASDAQ market is up about um, half of a percent. Uh, which is a step in the right direction, at least for Monday, since we had such a bloody end to the week on Friday. So most of your tech stocks, as long as the market holds at these levels, um, then we should be opening up in the green if you're invested in some tech stocks. As you guys can see, the NASDAQ index was very, very bearish uh, right before market close on Friday and it just continued and continued to sell off. So it was very, very unfortunate, especially for all the tech stocks out there. Uh, but again, by them selling off, it means that all of these tech stocks are a little bit more on the oversold side. So just make sure that you take that into consideration that yes, they are cheap, but they've been getting cheaper. So it's not that you should be any more scared. Uh, it's just that, you know, you this is a time to be selective. Uh, that's the easiest way to put it. This is a time to watch your position size, watch where it is that you begin to invest your money or where you begin to trade your money. Uh, and sometimes less is more in this market. Anytime that you open a position, you're opening yourself not just to opportunity, but to potential risk as well. So just make sure that you take that into consideration. So here again, I just wanted to say thank you for taking uh, my fish to the swing right as a... Oh, what? All righty, let's see. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and break down your guys' top stock. So the first one is going to be LCID. So LCID, let's go ahead and pop this up. LCID on the four hour time frame. Uh, we can see that it has pretty low volume intraday. Uh, very, very bearish, almost trading sideways as of right now. So I see why you're paying attention to it. Again, I'm not the biggest, um, how do I say this? I, I don't necessarily, um, I'm not the biggest believer in all of these uh, wannabe Teslas. Uh, that, that's the only way that I can really uh, talk about them is that they all get super hyped up and then they absolutely crash because they never meet expectation. Uh, a lot of them are trying to do great work and that's great, but they're years um, ahead of their time when it comes down to you know what their valuation is and what they're actually trading at. So it wouldn't be much of a surprise if LCID continues to sell off like we've seen with NIO, uh, Nikola, um, and then all of those other wannabe Tesla stocks, right? So lower lows, lower highs, a very simple thing that you can begin to ask yourself is, you know, yes, there is potential just like there's potential in any stock, but this thing is not indicating signs of an uptrend. So ask yourself a simple question. Are you missing out in lucid by not being invested in right now uh, and i would say the very simple answer is no uh, we're not missing out by not being invested if anything we're probably saving money because we're not losing it as lucid continues to make lower highs and lower lows in very simple terms it's still selling off so by not being invested in it you're actually better off and again that's the question to ask yourself you want to trade when it makes sense not to just trade because you can i think that's something that you're going to begin to learn more about as time goes on and then you're going to realize that it's so much easier it's still not easy but so much easier when overall direction is in your favor so uh, again just trying to look out for you if you want to jump on in right now and you think that it's a good investment go for it i'm not here to tell you when to buy or when to sell but i just know that for myself it's always so much easier when I allow the direction to be in my favor. So let's go ahead and move on to the next one. So the next one is going to be ticker symbol BA, BA. So again, if you guys want me to break down your stock, just make sure that you sign in onto your YouTube account and you should be able to message in the live chat. So uh, Baba has been getting absolutely destroyed ever since Jack Ma had this whole conflict with the Chinese government. Uh, they blocked uh, his like investment company to go public and ever since then almost literally every China stock has been selling off It's very unfortunate that China does this to their you know companies anytime that they get too big or if someone doesn't necessarily meet their expectation of of How they speak or present themselves, but again, they, they, they do as they do and um in very simple terms, right? Asking ourselves that simple question. If I were to ask you, hey, looking at BABA and the way that it's been trading for the past year, do you feel like you're missing out by not being invested? No, I feel like I'm doing really good by not being invested because all it's doing is losing money, right? It's selling off. There's, it's, it's, I mean, Alibaba itself is a great platform, yes, but it just doesn't make sense to have money invested in something that is continuously selling off. It's not selling off for one month. It's not selling off for just a couple of days. It's literally been selling off since the end of 2020. So a full year has gone around and it's still bearish. So again, direction is not in our favor. So there is no reason on why we should jump into it. So what's going on, John? Asking me to break down SoFi. All right, John, I'm breaking this one down for you. I hope that I earn your thumbs up in this video. So John... I definitely understand why you're paying attention to SoFi. It's had a very consistent pattern with its support level right around 1450. It's resistance level based off previous patterns right around 2350. That's great, right? It's, it's great to be able to understand the, the support levels and the resistance levels, the support levels and resistance levels. It's great when patterns repeat themselves. But again, like we know, they don't always have to. And that's kind of what we're experiencing right now. It continues to make new lows. There's no break above the EMA line on the day chart. There's no indication of a reversal. We're gonna see a lot of this, or we're seeing a lot of this on a lot of different tech stocks. They're very cheap right now. It's great to, you know, John, I don't know what your watch list looks like, 
But if you really believe in SoFi, if you really like the way, uh, the price that it's at right now, I would keep it in your watch list and I would just stay ready to strike, right? Because it makes sense that it's only going to be a matter of time for them to begin to recover. So I just want to make sure that you are ready. Sometimes having too many stocks that you're paying attention to kind of clouds your thinking. So just make sure that you don't put yourself in that position. I think that there's great potential when it comes down to SoFi because from where we're at right now, if it were to recover to the same resistance level from before, yeah, 176% ROI. That's amazing. But let's be realistic. We can't expect that anytime soon, especially when direction's not in our favor. And I don't know about you, but I'm not a perfect trader, so I'm not going to pretend to be. With that being said, I would set my alert. Once it begins to recover, I can average up into my position, feel comfortable, feel effective, and then at the overbought levels based off previous patterns or at any indication of a resistance, I can begin to lock in profits and walk away with some money in my pocket. I don't know about you, John, but that sounds like a pretty solid plan to me. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. So I'm actually going down the list. So, all righty, we got Nick Chambers. What's going on, Nick? I hope that I earned your thumbs up in today's video. Let's go ahead and break down your stock. That is going to be ticker symbol AEI. Here we go. So, oh man, I'm not, no. So, okay. So you're looking for a potential breakout. It looks like it gapped up about 23%. This looks like a complete pump and dump. It's done it before. If you trade breakouts, this is high risk, high reward. I would not ever recommend this for any beginner trader. This is super, super risky. When hype is present, as you can see, it's normal trading volume. And then you can see what happened on Friday. It got hyped up. That's probably why it popped up in your radar or your watch list, or if there's a Reddit or uh, stock twits form that you were a part of that's probably where you know you came across it I would be very very careful anytime that something like this shoots up you could see that it's being hyped up you could see that it has abnormal volume levels abnormal demand levels this does not last a very long period of time which is why you have to be very careful if market opens up on Monday and it continues to rally, then okay, you know you have uh, a, a day trade potential uh, when it, or, or it begins to offer day trade potential. But other than that, if it begins to trade sideways, if you begin to see that it's it's starting to slow down, I would stay away from from it. This is a super super risky play. I just want to make sure that. You do not put yourself in an unfortunate situation, especially when it's known to crash. You can't just always think about the upside. You have to take into consideration of how much it could potentially drop as well. Again, especially if you're an absolute beginner, it's super, super important for you to look out for yourself. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. So can you please go over Facebook? What's going on, Mo? course again i hope that i earn your thumbs up in this video make sure you smash that like button so facebook is very oversold trading at 186 ever since it reported earnings and it dropped about 20 percent it was the single biggest loss of any publicly traded company losing 220 billion dollars in just a couple of minutes so absolutely insane we haven't seen this drop before it's not bullish there's no other way to put it. I do believe in Facebook. I do believe that it will eventually recover, but it doesn't matter what I believe. It doesn't matter what I what I hope for, right? What matters is direction. It doesn't matter what my indicators say. Indicators are to be used as a reference, never a sole reason on why to take a trade. What matters most is direction. And right now, direction is not in our favor. So if you wanna buy the dip on Facebook, that's up to you, right? But if it continues to dip, then by you buying early, you have to be able to tolerate that risk. If you don't want to be able to tolerate that risk, then don't buy the dip early, right? Especially if you suck at managing risk or managing your position size, don't put yourself in a position to fail. Look out for yourself, right? Understand that I would rather maybe take a trade when direction is in my favor. So you can set your alerts. Again, you don't have to be a perfect trader. Um, you have so much time. I mean, Facebook has so much margin to work with for it to potentially recover. But as of right now, as the NASDAQ market continues to sell off and as Facebook continues to struggle, we're most likely going to con uh, continue to see it to drop, right? So it even makes more sense to almost to short it than it does to trade it as of right now. Now, the question is, are you in the market to make money now or to make money later? If you're in the market to try to make money later, then yeah. Maybe being able to pick up a couple of shares, especially if you if you can tolerate the time that it will take for Facebook to recover, could be a good intention. It's all about your intention. If you're trying to make money right now, I would either stay away from Facebook completely as it's still selling off, or maybe consider shorting it. So, all right, so we have fear of God. 
he will not stop spamming the chat. Let's just go ahead and break it down. So GameStop, absolutely crashing, making lower lows, lower highs, no indication of a recovery. And I mean, we're approaching previous lows, right? That's what it looks like. Um, I don't think it's been this low in quite some time. I mean, there's nothing else to it, right? I mean, Facebook is a quality company. We would expect Facebook to recover. I do agree that GameStop is probably dropping more because of what's going on with the market, but also be realistic with yourself. GameStop is a crappy company. It's a company that's been going out of business or has been less relevant more now than ever before, right? The only reason that it's still somewhat trading at this high, at this higher price point is because all of the hype behind all of those Reddit traders. If you wanna to continue to hold, that's up to you. Again, like I said, I'm not here to tell you when to buy or when to sell. At the end of the day, you're an adult. It is your job to take advantage of opportunities that make sense to you. I just don't think it makes sense to invest and hold a stock that continues to sell off because of this short squeeze that everyone thinks is going to happen that's never happened before especially when it's already a company that everyone knows is, is a failing company. So I just want to make sure that you're realistic with yourself. If you want to take on that risk because you think that there's hope for that potential short squeeze, I would just really watch that position size. I just don't want you to end up taking a bigger loss than you can tolerate. That's what we want you to avoid, right? Um, and that's from our mistakes. We, I've made those mistakes many times where my, my hope and my desire fog up my rational thinking, right? All right, let's go ahead and break down. How many have we done already? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's go ahead and do three more. So again, if you want me to break down your stock, smash that like button and comment your top stock right now. So I like that. We got AMD. Keep it going, keep it going. If you want me to break it down, just comment down below. I think AMD is a solid company. I think it's one of the market leaders when it comes down to micro devices. Uh, I do think it's very, very cheap. I would view AMD to be more of an investment long-term than a trade. I wouldn't really trade this right now because it's very bearish as the tech market is selling off, as the NASDAQ market is selling off. You also have to understand that they're about to announce this upcoming week uh, that they're going to be raising interest rates. So I think it actually takes place either on Wednesday or on Thursday. So make sure that you understand that anytime that that conversation is being spoken about, tech stocks get negatively influenced when it comes down to that. So if your intention is to make money right now, I would not invest in AMD. But if your intention is to make money later down the road and you can tolerate the time that it will take for the market to recover, then I think AMD is something worth learning more about and looking into. I think it has great upside, especially at the price point we're at right now. Yes, it can 100% get cheaper, but Again, it's asking yourself, do you view or value this company to a certain point where you want to add it to your watch list, set those effective alerts, and maybe follow up with it when it begins to indicate signs of a recovery? So thanks, Ricky, AMD. What's going on, Mike? So yeah, AMD has to be one of my, my favorite stocks because of it being one of the market leaders in micro device manufacturing. So let's go ahead and do two more. So we got uh, LMT. Let's go ahead and break that one down, LMT. Alrighty, so it looks like this one shot up um, not that long ago. Let's look at this on the four hour time frame. It looks like it shot up, it's already peaking, beginning to pull on back. The thing that I like about LMT is that how bullish it's been, right? I like something that's very consistent, right? I'm not a perfect trader. Um, it's, it's difficult to trade when there's inconsistencies. So I like to make it easy for myself. I don't know about you guys, if you like things that to be super challenging, especially in the stock market, that's on you. But when I can see something that's consistently bullish or there's a consistent pattern, it makes it easier for me to understand the low points, the high points, when it's getting ready to pull on back, maybe waiting a little bit longer for it to you know, sell off so I can get it for a better deal and then actually take initiative and take a trade when it actually begins to indicate signs of an uptrend. So as of right now, LMT looks more like a sell than it does a buy, especially as it's trading below the EMA line, making lower lows and lower highs after it broke below. So let's, let's just make sure that we're aware of that. Uh, the other one that everyone continues to talk about is Tesla. Tesla once again is trading below 
$800 a share. I don't own any Tesla stock as of right now. It's been getting rejected by this moving average. I made a video on YouTube as we were approaching this 870. If you're part of my Learn Plan Profit Group, I talk about this all the time. My job is not to predict the future. My job as a trader is to prepare for it. It's not just to only think about how much money I could potentially make, but also how much money I have on the line that might be at risk if I continue to hold. So when I began to see that Tesla was approaching this moving average and we've been bearish for the past two months, I know that I can't be greedy right now. If we were in a bullish market, that might be a little bit different, right? Because the market sentiment is different. But right now, as the market's bearish, as it's selling off, as we continue left and right to hear bad and bad news, it made sense on why we locked in profits at the high 800s in preparation for it to pull back. Again, it's not about predicting the future, it's about preparing for it. Yes, it is a little bit more on the oversold side. It looks cheap. It's something that I might potentially enter in this week, depending on how the market reacts to this interest rate and then what happens over in Russia and Ukraine. I'm very excited. You know, this is the different thing. This is the last thing that I'm gonna uh, say before we end today's video. You will always, See, there's two kind of people when the market is crashing and when the market is pulling back, right? There's the one person that freaks out that makes, makes this experience a complete mess. They feel super, and rightfully so, right? Because they didn't prepare. They feel super ineffective. They feel like the market is against them. And that's not the case. If you actually think about what is happening right now, there's more cheap stocks right now and they're great quality companies, right? But there's more cheap stocks right now than there's been probably in the past two to three years. With that being said, there's a lot of opportunity. It's not about it being scary, it's about not being able to tolerate the time that it takes for these opportunities to recover and make us money. So as you begin to overthink and freak out about what's the next big stock that you're about to trade or about to invest in, understand that sometimes keeping things simple and thinking big picture can, can play, pay off big, especially with current market conditions. You shouldn't need to chase a stock day in and day out, sometimes waiting for the market to sell off, waiting for the deals to present themselves, saving those day trades. So when the deals are here and then we do begin to recover, you can take action, make your couple bucks, lock in your profits and walk away with some money in your pocket. And I think that's the beautiful thing about the stock market, right? Warren Buffett says it best. It's obviously more directed when it comes down to investing, but it's the stock market is the transfer of, front, uh, transfer of funds from the impatient to the patient. For those that prepared for the market to pull back, just like we always talk about within our Learn Plan Profit Group, those are the people that wreak the biggest benefit when the market begins to recover. Because for all those that can buy at these lower levels, and then when the market does recover, we're able to make all of that money back and then some. And that's the beautiful thing about the market. It's not about keeping it and making it super complicated, but understanding that sometimes it's actually very simple. You just have to understand the big picture. So if you ever want to have a conversation about the stock market, especially if you're an absolute beginner, please, again, take one minute. You guys can click the first link in the description, and it's my free trading group chat. Whenever it is that you are ready to join my live trading sessions, just understand that I do trade live every single morning at Market Open, and I'm going to be trading live as soon as tomorrow. So if you want to join us, click the second link down below. It's going to give you $100 off the Learn Plan Profit Lesson Library. If if you're ready to join my team as a complete beginner, again, you guys will be able to see it, uh, see me trade live as soon as tomorrow. And we have a couple spots open for the $100 off discount. And again, that's that second link down below. I really do appreciate you guys' time. I hope that I earned your thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. And again, all you literally have to do is subscribe to the channel. Today, we gave away $1,000 to you know $100 each to 10 different people. Uh, and all they had to do was follow me on YouTube, wait for the opportunity of the sign up bonus. And I selected 10 of you guys today. So I would love to continue to incentivize you, especially as a lot of you guys are just getting started. Um, and I'm gonna come up with uh, a new giveaway, uh, maybe in the next week or two weeks. And then hopefully I can give away another thousand or $2,000. So I really do appreciate you guys it's time for all the winners please message me via discord showing me proof that that is your account and then we can go from there like always continue working hard continue following dreams let your passion be what drives your success and like always let's make sure